guys, so this is part two to what if Danny Phantom was in Young Justice. Now, guys, basically, um, I'm doing this what if. Now, basically, guys, um, I just got a request for another Young Justice what if. Because mainly, I am doing Young Justice what ifs, but I just want to do, like, a long, uh, a long, like, a concessive or, like, a, like a, a, in a row, multiple times in a row, upload Young Justice what ifs for a long time and see how that would change my views. My views dropped drastically to, to like, you know, to 20k or something like that to pretty much 60. And that was it. So, yeah, so basically, guys, I'm just going to be starting to, after this list of what ifs I make, I'm going to be doing a lot of just what ifs that no one else has thought about and just original what ifs. And I asked you guys for requests because I really want to get close to you guys. Or pretty much, you know, take in, you know, requests for my my subscribers and my followers. Because, you know, other, you know, what if first, they don't really listen to those requests that much. But mainly, I do mo mainly any type of requests. And I read all my comments, like every single one. So, yeah. Because I don't have that many. But, yeah. So, basically, guys, I will be doing a bunch of just random what ifs that no one else has done after this list of what ifs i have you know i'm making and this is one of the what ifs on that list basically what if danny phantom was in the injustice part two now basically guys this is gonna be i'm gonna be leaving it off last time i left off was at the drop zone or drop zone what episode episode um four and basically now we're on episode five school and then we're gonna skip off after episode five we're gonna skip to episode six then i'm gonna leave off part one i mean part two there so let's get into it guys so basically we start our story off with pretty much well a school bus almost falling off a bridge but sir man shows up saving the day but sir boy shows up basically having that same type of interaction with superman and basically we switch back to the cave or the Mount Justice, and basically they're getting evaluated, or pretty much the team starts to get trained. Now, Danny says, I want to get, Danny pretty much, you know, tries to train with them, and pretty much says, I'm going to go first before Wally. Basically, he goes first, he goes first instead of Wally, and basically he gets his butt handed to him nearly, because he fights for a couple, like about like a solid five minutes equally against, you know, Black uh, what was it, pretty much, um, Black Canary, but he ultimately gets folded on his butt, and pretty much gets folded, and had his, and pretty much gets, you know, his butt handed to him by a sword platter, now basically, you know, Danny gets back up, and pretty much says, I fell very gracefully, and I let you win, basically, you know, lying straight to her face, now she, you know, pretty much, well taunts Superboy into fighting her, and pretty much Superboy loses each time he tries to fight with Black Canary. Black Canary pretty much using his strength against him, floating him on his floating him on the ground. But basically, we get switched off to basically Batman calling the team from the Mount Justice for basically a world mission, and to pretty much safeguard two trucks that are um, amongst the two pretty much what was it amongst two pretty much oh what was it um two fake trucks that basically are holding the parts to Amazo. Amazo is basically just the angel that can mimic, you know, superheroes abilities and and more. Basically them being told to safeguard it so no one else will try to think steal it. Now roll now they are, you know, put into motorcycles, and Danny's motorcycle pretty much outfit looks lo just looks like um. Danny wears a motorcycle outfit similar to this. Basically, them getting ready and them getting started. Now basically, they would get on the road, and Danny would be riding his motorcycle. His motorcycle just being like a white type of motorcycle, and they would be and Danny would be on Superboy and Robin's team or group on following the other pieces of pretty much a Mezo on the truck. They will be following the truck and basically a Mezo's 
Amazo would be, you know, in the truck. And basically everything would be all fine. And until Robot Monkey starts showing up on both of the pretty much trucks trying to get the Amazo, you know, pretty much parts. And pretty much they're trying to get it when Superboy is told by Robin to pitch your, you know, motorcycle in battle mode. Batman, you know, <laughs> Superboy being angry saying, you know, point pretty much jumping off the motorcycle and making a crash into Robin. Robin jumps off his motorcycle and they both get on the pretty much bus or the truck. And basically, um, Danny is looking from afar, basically charging up some of his beams and pretty much putting his motorcycle in battle mode. It autopiloting pretty much around the, or just keep on autopiloting on the tail of the truck. Now basically he flies up to the ground, he phases through the pretty much truck trying to get all the robots away from the pieces of Amazo. He he succeeds, but one of the robots take about a couple pieces from the Amazo torso and basically he's left with the torso. Day flies out of the pretty much a roof that the pretty much monkeys made by lasering through it. And basically it's about to fly off and what multiple of the monkeys start just straight up ganging on Danny. Now Danny isn't able to phase or focus enough to phase the object or you know the meso pretty much pieces so basically he drops them and the robots grab them and all the pieces and they leave superboy is super angry by this and keeps on following them lacking an original and pretty much jumps after the robot monkeys danny gets away from the robot monkeys basically flying off and him pretty much flying down to the ground now he would be you know, shocked alongside Robin, basically, Robin, you know, calling a night, calling an Aqualad, and multiple, the other team, Aqualad, um, Aqualad, I think, Megan, and Kid Flash, basically, their, their team, you know, going through the same thing, now, so basically, you know, before, you know, they call into Superboy, trying to tell him to, you know, to radio his location so he can help him. She said, I don't need help and I don't want any, taking out his comm and leaving it. Now, basically, Robin says, well, I have a, you know, suggestion, basically him taking his, you know, tech and hacking into the robots, pretty much finding out that they have a tracker on the, pretty much, well, Amazo tech pieces or pieces in general. Now, Danny looks around, basically trying to find a way to, you know, get close to, well, Superboy. He has no real abilities to try to focus on Superboy, but basically, he tells him that I'm going to try to find Superboy. Basically, him flying all the way as high as he can, trying to look around. He sees a figure jumping up in the air, and he follows it, basically them telling him to stop it, but Danny not really listening. Now, now before... Uh, Danny left. Danny was told that basically, or they, the team was told that the GPS or the robots were pretty much they're centering on well Gotham City. Basically, you know, um, Aqualad being kind of confused, saying that's way far west. Basically, him telling me and the gang won't be able to get there. Kid Flash are up. Pretty much, you know, Kid or Wally running towards or speeding towards basically well. Gotham City alongside pretty much going after, you know, Danny after Danny was trying to, you know, fly after Sewer Boy. Now, basically, they would be flying and pretty much Robin would have gotten the pieces of his motorcycle, would have actually grabbed Danny's motorcycle instead of his, basically seeing that Danny's motorcycle was still in, you know, good condition. Pretty much driving his. So, we switch to Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent talk, aka Batman and Superman. Now, they're talking at a diner, as you know, Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent. Superboy tracks down the Amazo pieces to a truck or a train and pretty much gets into the train looking around. And he pretty much comes across, pretty much um, comes across Ivo. Now, basically, Danny follows shortly after, phasing through pretty much cart through cart, trying to find Superboy. By the time Superboy's getting his, pretty much, you know, getting. Folded by Amazo, Dan shows up. Pretty much, Superboy is should have just folded into a well school, 
punched by, by the strength of Superman from Amazo, and Danny watches this. Danny tries to face through Amazo, but Amazo accesses pretty much, well, what was it? Fa accesses Martian Manhunter, and when they phase each other, something happens, and basically Danny's molecules are dense enough to phase through Martian. He pretty much dense density. So basically, he, you know, gets blasted out of Amazo's body, uh, out and away towards the same area where, you know, Superboy fell. Him falling on the second floor, bef the second floor where Superboy, you know, fell. Him falling down to the ground and him getting knocked out of his ghost form into his human form. Danny being straight up slept. Pretty much Amazo starts folding Superboy left and right, pretty much... Danny still being knocked out cold, but him coming back to consciousness slowly. Now, Superboy still getting his butt handed to him by Mazo. Mazo throwing him towards room to room. And Mazo pretty much, well, blasting the snot out of Superboy. Eventually, they end up at the gym. And basically, they start to get, you know, rough. Basically, Ivo watching from the bleachers, clapping, and pretty much taunting Superboy. Now, Superboy gets angry, basically, you know, Amazo downing Superboy, saying they'll never be strong enough, they'll never be strong enough to take down Amazo. Basically, Amazo going back and forth to Superboy, pretty much backhanding him, kicking him, just overall just beating him. Right before Amazo was about to straight up just kill Superboy or s stomp him down to the ground, Kid Flash jumps in in his hero costume, basically grabbing Superboy and f pretty much running out of the way. Now, Robin shows up throwing a battering towards Amazo. Amazo accessing Martian Manager's powers and phasing through the battering. Kid Flash pretty much watching. And pretty much Amazo accessing Red Tornado and pretty much Red Tornado Ring pretty much all around them. Now, Danny wakes up from the noise and basically gets up, switching into his ghost form. Basically, um, pretty much, basically, you know, Danny flies through the, flies through the walls down near the bleach area, where basically Superboy and the rest of the team show up, basically, fighting Amazo. Now, Amazo starts to straight up just sleep everybody when, when pretty much Danny shows up, pretty much going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Super, toe-to-toe -to -toe with basically, well, Amazo. Now basically, Ivo sees that Danny has different abilities than the others and is unique. Basically, Danny shooting multiple, pretty much, pretty much plasma beams towards Amazo and also him facing through Amazo trying to phase him out and in. Amazo and Danny have a, um, kind of a phasing competition with Danny trying to take down Amazo by phasing through him when Amazo turns into, or pretty much copies, um, much manager's abilities and phases through Danny. Now they go back and forth. Danny using some of his increased strength to throw pretty much, um, what was it? The, sh the throw basically Amazo left and right and Amazo eventually mimicking some of the abilities of Danny. Now basically Danny sees this but Danny goes invisible and turns off his heat signatures and basically starts flying around. Him making as little noise as possible since Amazo does have the hearing of basically, well, um, does have the hearing of Superman. He also switches to pretty much, pretty much Martian Manager again, trying to read Danny's mind. Now, Danny has no, for this extra ability, Danny has no signature of mind control, and I'm pretty sure Danny's abilities stop mind control. So, Danny starts flying around, shooting more plasma beams left and right towards pretty much Amazo. Amazo takes more hits over and over time eventually getting blasted down and eventually Amazo looks up seeing that Danny throws one big blast of energy towards him and eventually Danny does well nearly win the fight. Now they go back and back and basically Amazo grabs Danny in the air as Danny flies past him, him hearing Danny fly. Basically him grabbing Danny and pretty much Hulk throwing Danny back and forth like Hulk did to Loki in the first Avengers movie. Basically, just folding Danny. Now, Danny eventually almost blacks out, but but pretty much the rest of the team show up. 
basically Aqualad and McGann pretty much going up against, you know, pretty much Amazo. Now they start going back and forth, and Amazo eventually copies more of their abilities and is basically folding all of them. At this point, Danny sees no other way and pretty much uses all of his abilities and all of his powers at once, shooting a huge blast of energy towards Amazo, making a huge hole or pretty much disintegrating half of the half of Amazo's pretty much chest and whole and his whole entire arm off of his body. Amazo falling down to the ground malfunctioning trying to heal from his wounds. Now basically Danny Phantom Danny flies back up, makes more keep more blast towards basically, you know, Amazo and tries to phase towards Amazo. Amazo phasing but him but Danny becoming physical while in Amazo, pretty much blowing up Amazo. Now Danny gets a little bit of a mark around his stomach because you know he was like like halfway through Amazo and turned physical or turned you pretty much you know physical and solid in him, blowing him up. So basically, you know, Danny won, but Danny was you know had to get cared because Danny got some bruises on his stomach. Now Danny was switched back to his human form. Now, after that, da pretty much we could switch back to the cave or Mount Justice, basically where they're congratulated by Black Canary and Martian Manhunter. Now, they get told about the mission and how they did it. Okay. Now, basically, Batman, Green Arrow, and Retro Arrow are there as well. And basically, they're told, and they pretty much they, you know, Batman tells Superboy, talks to Superboy, and basically, they get told about the same story thing. Now Batman also tells Danny that you had you have great potential and that you've shown a lot of it today. Now basically Danny being kind of, you know, happy about this. Now Robin accuses Green Arrow of being there since he found a green since he found another green arrow at the field or the gym where they fought. Basically them thinking it's, you know, Speedy that stepped in to save them or to stop them. Now basically Superboy talks to Black Canary. And pretty much, you know, tries to, you know, pretty much apologize to Quebec Canary and train with her. Now we get switched up there. That's where we can evolve episode 6. So, yeah. So, guys, I mean, episode 5. So, we get switched up to episode 6. And that's where I'm going to, you know, start the other half of this what if. Now we get switched to the beginning of episode 6. With basically, well, Speedy or, well, Arsenal. Basically stepping in and pretty much saving the day. Pretty much him stepping in and saving a doctor at some sort of lab or base of pretty much the League of Assassins. Him pretty much saving the doctor. Now the doctor says, the doctor pretty much tells Speedy about the whole entire, not the whole entire project, but about how they can't leave the device behind. So basically Speedy says it's either the device or you lady pick Basically, her choosing herself, basically, Speedy saving her and leaving off a boat. Pretty much, him say, pretty much her saying is this like the aeromobile, basically, or the aeroboat. Him saying no, it's a rental. Him swimming, him pretty much riding off. Now it gets switched off there and we get switched to the amazing intro of season one of, season one of Young Justice. Now, Robin. Aqualad, Superboy, and Megan, and also Danny show up, and pretty much, or mainly Danny, because Danny at his school, basically, Danny goes to the same school as Kid Flash, but Wally, pretty much, or Wally, basically, Danny purposely, well, pretty much his school being kind of, you know, close towards Wally's school, but not really him going to the same school as Wally, him bumping into Wally, or catching the same bus as Wally, but not really, you know, being at Wally's same school, but pretty much Danny was able to skip school, or basically his grades are so good from what from his you know last year's school that he is, you know, and plus he's on the young plus he was also on the Young Justice, so basically he just skips you know the second year of his high school to go hang out with his friends or his team members, and basically Wally being stuck at school, and him basically you know having to go through. The whole entire day of school, having no fun at all, basically, back towards, basically, you know, the young, no, let's switch back to the young, 
a team where Aqualad, Superboy, Robin, Man Megan, and pretty much Danny are, you know, enjoying a beach day and all the other stuff. So basically, nearly when, you know, Wally shows up with all this beach stuff, he gets shortly, you know, his whole entire excitement gets shortly you know, stopped when basically he sees that, you know, well, the beach day is far over and basically, you know, it's mission time now. And they get introduced to their new team member or their new pretty much, you know, in their new pretty much team member, um, well, their new team member, Artemis. Now, basically, Artemis, you know, pretty much introduces herself as Artemis and pretty much she tells them that she's pretty much, um, was a Green Arrow's pretty much niece. Now, basically, they start to, well, pretty much, well, how was it? Basically, they start to, well, pretty much Wally starts to argue with Artemis, saying that, what about Speedy? You're just gonna replace him? Basically, you know, Green Arrow, kind of arguing, but not really going, you know, overboard. Now, basically, what, pretty much Danny sees this from afar, and basically, you know, pretty much Danny looks around. Danny kind of sees, uh, um, pretty much, um, what was it, sees, now basically, you know, Artemis has that whole entire, you know, argument with Speedy or with Red Arrow when pretty much Speedy shows up. Now basically, Speedy tells them, you know, that pretty much the scientist, or basically, you know, scientist, he says the scientist's name, Robin recognizes it and says that she's a nanotech physicist and pretty much, you know, is a scientist. Basically, the pretty much Red Arrow explains about how the League of Shadows have, you know, tricked, baited her into making a device or a weapon called the Fog that can basically get through any type of information or anything that can go, and in the nanotech pieces of Fog can go through anything, concrete, bones, flesh, anything. And basically, him, being, him telling them the whole entire mission and about how to retrieve the weapon and to stop it from, you know, doing whatever. Basically, him telling you, you can handle this yourself. Now, basically, he argues with, you know, Green Arrow a little bit, but eventually, you know, he just leaves, and basically, we get switched on to basically them going to the high school area where the scientist is basically guarding the, guarding the scientist with pretty much, basically, Megan, Superboy, and also Aqualad, Kid Flash, Danny and well, what was it? Danny and what was it? I think it was uh, Artemis. Ar Artemis. Now basically, the you know pretty much Kid Flash and Artemis start arguing. Basically, Danny telling them to shut up. Basically, you know Danny just you know telling them you know not to pretty much make the scientists lose focus. Scientists, you know, thanking Danny and you know pretty much saying at least somebody. Realizes how important what I'm trying to do. Basically, Danny goes on his phone, basically trying to, you know, pretty much Danny goes on his phone, and pretty much he is stopped when basically, you know, Kid Flash tells him to turn, and Robin tells him to turn it down, so it's just making a lot of noise, and you don't even have headphones on. Now, now basically, after, you know, Kid Flash and Artemis argue, Artemis just leaves, saying maybe I'll just help Superboy and McGann or Martian girl basically, you know, pretty much secure the perimeter. Now they walk off and basically Kid Flash looks at Danny, t Danny telling Kid Flash, or just not, just telling Kid Flash mentally not to do that again. you just being a jerk, bro. Pretty much Kid Flash saying she drove Wally off the team, or drove Speedy off the team. Now basically, you know, Pretty much, well, pretty much Kid, well, Danny says, I don't know anybody anybody by Speedy, but I do know Speedy chose not to be on the team, and he made a decision. We can't just force him, and we can't just be mean to a new team member. You aren't mean to me. Basically, Kid Flash saying, you weren't mean to you because you didn't replace anybody. Pretty much, Danny scoffing at this and just, you know, keeping quiet. And Danny being able to pretty much keep his mental thoughts you know, a secret, since it's a ghostly of powers or whatever. Now, basically, the scientist, 
talks to, you know, black, um, what was it, talks to, what was it, Aqualad, basically, you know, them talking, basically, her saying, of course, I can track it, is, you know, my advice, and it's not a weapon, basically, you know, Aqualad, just, you know, telling her that, or assuring her that we're gonna keep you safe. Now, she tracks it down to, pretty much, I think, the Pelans, or, don't know, but, they track it down to an airport on August 8th, 2157 EDT. Now, basically, the League of Shadows are actually shown tracking the doctor, actually, instead of the doctor tracking them. Basically, them, you know, finding the location of the doctor. Now, basically, pretty much, um, well, pretty much Danny and the, pretty much after, you know, the League of Shadows find out where the doctor is at Happy Harbor High School. Basically, um, we get switched to basically the team back at the area. And basically, pretty much, McGann, um, McGann, Artemis, Superboy, and Robin are pretty much on the outside area guarding the basically perimeter of the high school. Now, Pretty much Artemis, McGann, they stay behind when Superboy and pretty much Robin go into pretty much Megan's ship, pretty much primarily meaning the other area. Now when McGann and Megan go back to primarily the area, we see that a dark shadowy figure is watching them, probably from the League of Shadows. Now we can switch back inside the area, basically. You know, a scene, something weird. And basically, Danny is on the inside area. Basically, he faces to the walls and the doors, pretty much watching Megan and pretty much, um, what was it? Artemis is pretty much, well, what was it? Artemis and, Artemis and Megan's conversation go exactly the same, them arguing for some reason. Now, basically... Yeah, so basically, McGann does still have feelings for Superboy, but also has slight feelings for Danny, though. But basically, guys, you guys can decide. Should the ship be Megan or Danny? Now, I don't I don't remember if I made the ship Danny and Megan. But yeah, guys, so basically, you guys, you guys decide in the comments. Now, basically, pretty much Danny is watching all around the bay. All around, like literally every inch of the inside area of the school, basically, pretty much Megan and pretty much Artemis' argument, pretty much, you know, doesn't, they don't see where the shadowy figure from later or from earlier jumping over the fence, getting near the, or in the perimeter. Now, basically, we get switched on to basically, what was it? Pretty much, pretty much, well, Basically, Danny is facing around the whole entire building, going to wall to wall in his ghost form, trying to trying to find any type of intruder. So, while he's the shadow and basically follows it, basically him getting led into a trap and getting his pretty much pretty much getting knocked out and getting pushed into some water by the assassin that you know snuck into the building. Basically. Wally getting knocked out cold. Now basically Wally runs back and Wally is landed to a trap and is knocked out cold. Yeah, I yeah, I said that. So basically I'm sorry guys, my videos are getting like mm, jumbled up. So yeah, so basically pretty much black pretty much um Aqualad guards this guards the doctor or the scientist, basically him looking around and now basically, again, basically, you know, Aqualad starts to pretty much, you know, pretty much Aqualad is guarding the scientist. When out of nowhere, a shuriken flies, flies right towards the doctor. When pretty much Aqualad blocks the shuriken and takes three more for the doctor and picks the doctor, you know, duck down for cover. Now basically, the assassin says, oh, they got, that has to hurt, basically. The assassin looking at pretty much black, uh, what was it, looking at, um, Aqualad, basically seeing that Aqualad isn't showing any signs of real, you know, pain, pretty much him saying that Atlantean skin is 
denser than, you know, humans. Now, basically, he, you know, p pulls out the pretty much shurikens from his arms and pretty much throws them down to the ground. Pretty much him getting into a fighting stance with the assassin. Pretty much psychically telling everybody that the assassin is basically, you know, under under attack, or we're under attack, basically the assassin in the computer room, pretty much fighting him. Now, basically, Megan, um, Megan, Artemis, and also Danny show up, basically. Danny flying past Megan and, um, Green, Green Arrows, um, basically, I keep on forgetting her name, it, like, takes me, like, ten minutes for me to remember her name over and over again. So, basically, um, McGann, no, that's, no, whatever, Green Arrow, or I'm just gonna say the Green Arrow's aunt, Green Arrow's niece, I am just gonna say that, Green Arrow's niece, Megan and Danny show up to the computer lab, basically fighting the assassin. Danny grabs, grabs more of the assassin's pretty much weapons that he's, that are throwing him, and he phases through, he phases through most of them, basically him trying to possess the assassin, he was just the assassin trying to tell, trying to make the assassin, you know, get handcuffs on her. But the assassin has enough willpower to push Danny out of her body for some reason. Danny is confused on how, you know, she, she can reject Danny's possession. Basically, Danny get going more and fighting against pretty much the, well, basically fighting against pretty much, I would say, the assassin going back and forth. Eventually, the assassin punches Danny back and Danny falls onto the ground. They start fighting back and forth and eventually Danny is pretty much, you know, starts to straight up just, you know, fight, you know, pretty much, they all just try, start to fight, pretty much the, what was it, they, try, they all try to start to fight the assassin. Now they, they're cut off short because Megan isn't really there because Megan had to go back to the, pretty much, you know, Holes because she was trying to resuscitate Wally because Wally was in the water. Right when the assassin sees that, you know, things are getting kind of dicey and she ain't, she's not going to be really able to win this fight after, you know, her fighting off Danny and seeing that Danny, Megan, Kid Flash, Aqualad, and also Armis are there and they're about to straight up, you know, jump her. She says this is too inter this fight is getting too interesting and basically throws a smoke bomb down and pretty much tries to escape and succeeds. We see that basically all Robin and pretty much Superboy show up towards Star Labs and basically see that, you know, it's completely broken down and the mist has taken all of the information from Star Labs and it's destroyed. Basically them seeing that, you know, it's completely just concrete and rubble now. Basically, assassins show up and basically just dog or sneak attack um, Aqualad, taking him out. Now, basically, Aqualad, and at this point, they move the doctors to, they move the doctor to a dock area for some reason. Now, basically, Black Spider or some sort of uh, Spider-Man DC ripoff shows up and starts to shut up this fight, you know, um, pretty much start the fight, Kid Flash and Green Arrow's a niece. Basically, they start the fight, and basically they start to go back and forth with Black Spider. Now, eventually, the pretty much the assassin tries to take out the doctor, making a clear shot towards her head. And now, the assassin tries to shoot an arrow towards the doctor, but sees that it's some sort of a floating chair or a telepathic moved chair. Basically, takes the arrow for her. And basically, we're shown that the Doctor is the Martian under the skies. The Martian took the Doctor's pretty much face or transformed into her to basically make a decoy for the assassins. Now, basically, you know, they know that they've been duped and we get switched back to the real location of the Doctor. The Doctor being in another building with Aqualad guarding her. Basically, now basically, well... Basically, Robin and Kid Flash show up, see that the vlog is at Wayne Tech, basically about to give the information on Wayne Tech, but then, you know, pretty much Robin, in theory, talking to himself, saying that they could, in theory, hack the Batcave. But basically, they start to, well, 
they start to go up against the fog, and basically they just say, because since, you know, Danny's in there, the situation doesn't change. So basically, basically, well, so basically, um, what was it? Um, Superboy and Robin do the same thing. They, you know, take down the fog, put the virus in, and all of this stuff. So we could switch back to the, you know, A team, or the other team. Now, basically, the assassin goes outside trying to look for, you know, Aqualad, but gets stopped when Danny grabs her and says, you're not getting away this time, and throws her into the car, basically trying, pretty much, you know, jumping her. Now, she eventually stabs Danny in his foot, because Danny wasn't in his, you know, pretty much phasing form, and he is thrown into a couple of trees, almost getting knocked out. Basically, she runs after Aqualad, seeing his footsteps with her heat sensor mask, and eventually she runs into Artemis. They fight for a little bit, and eventually, we're shown that Artemis knows the assassin, and basically, the assassin runs off, and basically, Artemis says that I couldn't do anything, she just got away. Now, after that, you know, pretty much Danny is helped back up by Kid Flash and pretty much Artemis, because when that happened, you know, pretty much is helped up by Kid Flash. Because Artemis left, because, you know, after Artemis took down the villains, or whatever, the bad guys. And basically, you know, before that happened, before, you know, the whole entire thing. And how, you know, the assassin left, and blah, blah, blah. Basically, you know, the whole entire, the whole entire you know, commentation, or whatever. Basically, Danny was out cold, because he was kicked pretty like really hard by the assassin this hasn't kicked you know pretty much danny with like some sort of ancient attack move into a tree pretty much danny was snapped out of his pretty much you know what was it was snapped out of his pretty much what was it ghost form and that's where we're gonna leave it all there now basically the assassin still did you know attack black um black what was it did still attack Aqualad and McGann and Kid Flash did still, you know, fight and pretty much blah, blah, blah. So basically, episode 6 is left off there. And pretty much, you know, pretty much, um, what was it? Pretty much, Super Superboy and Robin succeed in saving Wayne Tech. Megan and Kid Flash pretty much take down the villains or the other assassins. And basically... The, the head assassin or the female assassin escapes after, you know, pretty much, um, pretty much Artemis leaves her and lets her go after, you know, Artemis is shown to know her and, or she know or the assassin knows a secret about Artemis that, you know, the team won't like or something like that. So basically, the mission goes exactly like, the mission goes, you know, nearly the same and that's where I'm going to leave it off there. Now, you know, Kid Flash is kind of angry at Artemis, but pretty much is told by Black, or by, oh, sorry, why could I say Black, um, um, I'm glad that, you know, everything is okay. But basically, we get switched off there, and that's how I'm going to leave it off there, guys. So basically, what would happen in this, you know, what if, basically, you know, Artemis would, you know, Artemis and everybody else, would be okay, and the mission would go the same. They would save the doctor, take down the swarm, and that's when we get off there. So basically, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like and subscribe, and as always, guys, have a blessed day. See ya, and goodbye.